the death of you. Okay. Um, so hi, everybody. Welcome to the Chaos Asia Pacific Community Call. Um, thanks for everybody for joining. Um, seeing the agenda today, I think Yahui has uh, a couple things in there. So if you could, yep, maybe add yourself to the list of attendees today if you'd like. Um, thanks to Don for putting in the minutes and I'll drop them in here again. Um, so you, who, yeah. you, you wanna tell yeah, us Hello about? everyone. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, Yehui and I are, are in the uh, Shenzhen, and now we are preparing for the next uh, uh, chaos meetup in the Beijing, uh, the next month and the eighth, eight, uh, July the eighth. So we just want to discuss about the schedule. Yes. Uh, with you. Maybe I can share my screen. Oh. Yeah. Can you? Elizabeth, can you make yes? Can you make him co-host. Okay, oh, you got it. Thank you. Yeah, actually, I I, I uh, the schedule on the uh, on on the doc, but I think it's too small. So I open here. Xiaoya is not in the meeting. She is. Okay. She's here. Hi. Okay. Okay, great. That's great. Okay, yeah. <coughs> I write. I write. I prepare. I prepare this schedule both in English and Chinese. I guess we today go through the English version. Uh, yeah, we plan to hold this uh, chaos meetup uh, on the July eighth uh, next month uh, in Beijing, and uh, we have one day the whole day session, and this is the schedule. So uh, the mainly purpose to set up this meetup uh, this time, and we have mainly to have two purposes. First, involve more people uh, to attend chaos uh, community and to participate the related work like uh, metrics discussion and contribution. And uh, also we want to involve more people from China open source communities uh, to uh, discuss the, uh, uh, some metrics we are interested in recently. So as you, you can see that we uh, prepare, uh, ask, uh, prepare almost uh, one uh, half day, uh, a half day for, for the discussion. So maybe we can go through the schedule uh, quickly. So <clears throat> at the beginning, we will invite uh, 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 one people uh, called Xue Bao uh, from uh, uh, one uh, office. Uh, his, she's, uh, her topic is about from standard of trustable open source community metrics to chaos. And then next, um, we are looking, for, we, are, uh, we will broadcast uh, a video. So, um, I remember last time, uh, last time uh, when we hold up this meetup in China, uh, uh, we have one version. So maybe do we need, uh, do we have any updated version? So if we have, uh, we uh, we would like to to show the new one. And uh, the next topic is about uh, uh, why metrics is important in open source project and why do we need chaos? Uh, this would be presented by King Gao. King Gao is on flight today, by the way. <coughs> and uh, he will introduce the, this topic uh, based on the experiences uh, in the past six months. He, he uh, he have in in the chaos metrics usage uh, in his work, and the next is about uh, uh, a Grim Live introduction. First, we would like to uh, broadcast one uh, video about a short discussion about short introduction about Grim Live with the latest feature, and then I will give a live demo 
uh, based on the chaos metrics, I will uh, using some data collected from GitHub and uh, to do to show the metrics result. After taking a break, and uh, we invite one people called Liang Zhang. He's the founder and PMC chair of Apache Shandy Swear and the Elastic Job. And uh, he will uh, give us some um, community metrics thinking based on his experiences in the community. And then I we will in charge uh, invite Jun Zhong uh, who uh, attend the last uh, uh, chaos meeting with us two weeks ago. He will present uh, chaos metrics usage in open roller metrics infrastructure. Uh, because in the past uh, more than one year, Jin Zhong has using uh, uh, chaos metrics to to mirror uh, several uh, open community open source communities. And uh, the next session about uh, the chaos uh, way working and roadmap, and uh, we are looking forward to one video from you you guys if possible. Uh, to to introduce the roadmap of chaos uh, community, and the, and also we want uh, 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 I hope you can show some significance of metrics translations, no matter uh, uh, Spanish or Chinese, uh, because uh, as you know that uh, in the next uh, uh, chaos metrics official release. Uh, we wanna keep. Uh, we wanna also uh, release the Chinese version uh, at the same time with uh, with English version. So we want to involve more people from China um, to together uh, to doing this uh, translation work in the community. And the next topic uh, from Xiao Yang, he will uh, introduce how to contribute uh, contributing to the chaos community, and then. Uh, Clem Lee and me uh, will introduce how to involve into the chaos work from China. Uh, maybe start from the uh, matrix translations. Uh, as you know, as I uh, mentioned earlier, we want uh, more people uh, involved into the chaos community works. And uh, after one hour lunch, um, we will uh, invite to, uh, one people uh, who is uh, actually, actually he is the translator, Chinese translator of the, the Kasijo and the Baza. Uh, this book's translator uh, who called Wei Jianfan. So we usually call, call him Wizer. So we want to invite him to, to our uh, meet up to to show some thinkings about the community healthy track and after that uh, we step into the whole discussion uh, uh, session before we start the discussion we will introduce the topics or metrics we want to discuss in these two two rounds discussion and to introduce the each metrics maybe and uh, after that, uh, we will divide the, the whole people into two groups uh, at first round. Uh, at first round, uh, each group will pick up one topic and uh, give the uh, uh, and, uh, and start discuss. And uh, some of us will uh, join each of those uh, groups and record their output. So after the group discussion, we will summarize the, the first round. Uh, output and to share with the uh, uh, groups uh, uh, with each other. Mm -hmm. And then we step into the second group discussion. Uh, so we're working, it's uh, similar like the, the first one. So after this two round uh, discussion, what we want is the output of the thinking about some uh, metrics thinking, and maybe we can uh, contribute back to the uh, community, maybe to create a new metrics or improve some of the metrics. 
Okay, that's basically this is the uh, in, this is the schedule we planned. Actually, I just finished today. So, any comments? So this is amazing. Thank you <laughs> for doing this. Um, I, I have I personally have no questions on the schedule. Do other people have questions on the schedule? No, I agree with Matt. I think it looks really good. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I have a, in the minutes, I wrote down a few things, like things that came to my mind. Um, so it looks like there's a few videos that you need from us. Elizabeth, you have yes. that introduction to chaos, the row four. And so yes, uh, you need um, this. Yeah. Yep. We do not have an updated version of that. Um, but I think the one that we did for the past meetup would be fine to use. And I think Shoya has that. And I think that's already been translated. So that should just be good to go, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, we already have that video and mm -hmm. it is translated. Yeah, okay. There, if there's no updated version, I think I, I also I already saying that video on the t YouTube. I think it's quite good. So we can reuse that one. That's fine for us. Great. Mm -hmm. And then for row six, the Grimoire Lab. Did you did you want something from, like a video from somebody? Yeah, that, that would be great. I okay. saw I noticed that George or from like he uh, gave a uh, notice uh, on the on that channel. That uh, he mentioned something. That okay. uh, uh, and we are looking for someone maybe interested to help us recording a video to introduce Scream Live with some recent new features. Yeah. Okay. We, we'll see. Yeah. I, I, so in Georg, it looks like he, oh, would somebody like to record? So he was mm. not offering to do it. Um, mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, so that looks like we should try to find somebody to do that. And then next, uh, also we are looking for another video. That is about uh, the chaos shooter map, and uh, the we working in the in the chaos communities, uh, because we want to use in this session to involve more people from from China, uh, to let them uh, working together with us into the uh, chaos community work like uh, translations and the uh, metrics discussion and the contributing. So we are looking forward uh, some video, some, some video about uh, some discussion like that. Yeah, I'm wondering for that one, this is July 8th. Mm -hmm. I mean, so as far as the translations go, Mm -hmm. the, there are two Google Summer of Code students, um, Ritik and Yash, who are participating in Google Summer of Code to help with the automated metrics release in English. Yes. But they're yes. also helping with thinking through the best process for translations. So part technical, part social. Yes, so, I noticed uh, he's a male on, on the okay. mail list today. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I'm wondering if we could kind of connect. We have a meeting on Monday with mm -hmm. Yash and Ritik, and maybe we could bring this up as a way to, to create a short video on kind of where translations are right now mm -hmm. and what we see as a potential roadmap for getting translations done in the future for that. Yeah, for that but, but the roadmap, what I mean, the roadmap is not just about translations. I, I mean, about the whole roadmap of chaos metrics because oh, yeah. uh, we want them people to, uh, to for me, uh, realize like uh, the importance of the, the metrics gotcha. in, the, in the chaos community, chaos gotcha. trial. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I think that's something that 
Elizabeth, maybe you and I could do? No, that's great. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm just taking notes here. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Um, and then is that is that it for videos that you would need? I think that's it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, and so a couple of things that I had made note listening to you talk were mm -hmm. one, and this is kind of for everybody, how do we, it sounds like there's a lot of really great work that's occurring. When I look at this, when I look at your schedule, um, clearly there are a lot of people thinking about the chaos metrics as having an impact in their work in a variety of different ways. So how do, we, I'm wondering how we make that more visible beyond just this meetup? That's a fantastic question. That's also we want to ask from you that what's the expectations except for this meetup, right, Xiaoya? <laughs> yeah. So because we want to find a way to let people from China to get started involve, involving into the chaos um, uh, community works. So that's why uh, we have some collaborations with uh, some other communities guys uh, in China. And they have similar concern about how to measure the uh, community health. Uh, they have some thinkings, but uh, the status, current status in current China uh, open source community, like we all want to, to, to measure the Matrix, uh, sorry, to mirror the community communities, but uh, we only focused on the every single matrix. We haven't yet to set up the a complete metric model to say, okay, this is about uh, governance, uh, this is about uh, management, and this is about uh, the development areas. Right. So we want to set up a complete metrics model for the for the whole community health check. This is the, our purpose. That's also we want to have a, a half day discussion uh, in this meetup to collect more ideas and input from every single person we invited. And uh, actually, we we not uh, what I mean that. Not everybody who have uh, interest or who just want to keep an eye on it, uh, we just let them in into this session. We have to pick up some people who do real, who do will have some contribution or discussion or intentions to do the metrics uh, discussion or contributions. We will invite them to this meetup because we want uh, some real output uh, from the interest we, we, we have in the metrics. Got it. And so do you think it's it's smart to have that discussion first in this this meeting, the July 8th meeting, yep. and then bring that discussion back to the, this call? Yes. Okay. Yes. And then, I, yeah. And then as you, you can see that we will have some uh, um, discussion summary and uh, after this meetup uh, we want uh, uh, to introduce more people to to the to the chaos China uh, some discussion group and continue the further discussion uh, based on this meetup topics and then we will feedback or some thinkings and uh, as mentioned if we uh, maybe we can pop up some new ideas about metrics and even the metrics model back to the chaos like, community. Yeah, I like the metrics model idea a lot. Um, so in when you have this discussion in July, on July 8th, yeah. can you, I mean, can you ask the community members like what, 
in the current design of the chaos community isn't like what's problematic for participating in the chaos project okay shall i would you would you please record record matt's question i can also uh, if you mean record written them or i put it okay. in the notes so like okay. what, what are the barriers because I didn't see any input on my screen. I don't know why. Participating. I will type them down. I'm, I'm typing them in the minutes. Mm -hmm. Scroll up. I put it. See, oh, there. Do you see, like, how can we build community in China? Okay. What are the barriers for participating in the chaos community from China? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think part of this to me is we have the chaos project and we have, you know, the infrastructure that we've been setting up over the course of many years, like the different communication channels, the different ways that mm -hmm. um, we talk and communicate and um, the Asia Pacific calls, you know, part partnering with, with folks from China is relatively new. And so I think as part of connecting the work that you're doing with the chaos community, it's it's coming together, right? I don't think that it's fair for the chaos community to simply say, you come <laughs> to work where we are. Mm -hmm. If there are things that we can do in the chaos project that make it better for you or for better for participants in China, then it'd be great if we could know what those barriers are so we could help lower those. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. That's great. Elizabeth, uh, or anybody else, do you have comments on that? Uh, just just absolutely, um, you know, whatever we can do to, to assist and to make that bridge easier you know, by all means. And maybe there's something that we can um, set up a, almost a, um, a community team that would help bridge that gap. Like Shoya, I know you've been super instrumental in kind of making sure that uh, things are communicated back and forth. Like you've really been the glue, I think, to hold everything together. So thank you, you and also King as well. So, um, you know, maybe there's a, a team that we can, set up that would help uh you know in a smaller venue that could could kind of come together and sort this problem out based on feedback from kind of both of our communities that were that were yes. um, trying to grow Just yeah. yeah that's that's really great sure. so yeah please go on. uh are we planning to host the team on some like some platform or communication channel or or we just exist as a team that build the communications between um, chaos communities and folks from maybe China. Uh, I was just thinking of the form to do this, to conduct this. Yeah, this is yeah, I, don't, I, have, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what the best thing would be. Um, you know, maybe it happens just on Slack in a you know in an informal way where you know um, we come up with some ideas. Like I was thinking, like we, you know, one thing we do um, on on in the English speaking side is the our podcast, and I don't know if that's something that would. Uh, be helpful over in China if we had a Chinese host that would, um, you know, kind of bridge that gap or something like that. That we've built some community around that, and um, I think also building that uh, Chinese Slack channel. I think uh, working on that and bringing people in to the larger community in that way might be helpful. Just a couple. Yeah, I, yeah we, I think we also want to like like these Chinese. Chinese channel is like yes, and uh, also actually I have to say that um, some areas in China they have problem to to uh, to download and you you 
I use a Slack, actually. That was going to be my other question. Is there a better place uh, for those conversations or, or discussions to happen in, um, in an asynchronous textual way? I think we looked at what did what were we looking at before? Um, there was something else. There was another app that we were looking at doing. I do not remember at all. Shoya set it up. She was so good to do that. And then oh. I oh oh that was a WeChat official account, but I don't think I don't think um, folks from Western or um, beyond China would. It would get get used to use that because WeChat requires a phone number and um, and almost all the uh, all the languages are in Chinese. All the text or um, emotions or something. Got you. That was exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah, but uh, that that is a good way to at least. Um, at least for the for this meetup, um, that is a good promotion channel to let folks from China that know we we are planning something uh, in chaos community and we can participate. And yeah, we, we are we are still maintaining that that official account, and we had a WeChat group. Oh, awesome. But I, I just, I'm not sure if we can use WeChat as a bridge to connect, to connect the community. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a challenging problem that we have. It's a good problem <laughs> that we, we want to, you know, grow the community together. Um, so it's, it's awesome that there's so much interest and in that, you know, this is the challenge that we face. Maybe this is something we need to research a little and think about. I don't know that we'll solve it right here today, but uh, definitely something we can think about and look into of how we can, can work together and solve this. But I think we yeah. can start from set up with Chinese like China, at least, um, I mean, at least the people from from universities like Xiaoya and, and people from companies, they do have a right to access this like China. And uh, they can they can uh, to 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 communicate on, on the through the through the like I mean that's the no problem uh, although not for the everyone in China but uh, at least from companies and uh, and the colleagues and uh, and the universities that's no problem. So it might be a a, a first step or a mm -hmm. first kind of phase is to, to go ahead and use Slack for now, and we can incorporate then some some of the community knowing like in the future, this is not a long-term solution, but something that we can we can we can start using more um, right now. Would that would that make sense? Yes, I think that, I think that's good for now. So, uh, so this is great. Um, <laughs> So some of this is maybe like, like part of this for me is, you know, when we have our chaos cons that occur in Europe or the US, there are so many amazing things that come out of those discussions that actually drive change in the chaos project. <laughs> like based on the event we have say in Brussels, what we're talking about and the people we're communicating with actually has a direct impact on how the chaos project functions after that event. And I'd like the same things to occur here, right? So as this, these meetups are occurring, like how, what is occurring in these meetings that can actually change and improve the chaos community for the better? So that's one real big motivation um, for me to, to, to work on this. The other is like, Yahui, I, I look at this, like the, how to build a complete metric model and, and think about governance management and development. And as, as people are working on <clears throat> this model, like that is definitely a model that if, if this is something you're working on, like I would love to draw this model out to, to be seen by the entire 
to ensure that it's seen by the entire chaos community, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's part of, that's, that's a big motivation for me. So like, how do we have these meetups and communications to help drive change in the project? And then there are like very significant um, like artifacts and, and mm -hmm. knowledge components that are, 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 that will exist, whether it's new metrics or a metric model, that we need to make sure that those have a home in the chaos project as well for for the full audience yes okay mm. great um so we just yeah go ahead uh, sorry uh we just uh discussed about the uh, models um long term ago but uh, we just can't find some theories uh to uh to help to shape the mode to like the other uh, papers or other uh, serials to um, to to uh, to be a base to help to shape it. So uh, we we want to find some professors or other uh, uh, other students to help us to uh, get some uh, some to to find some basis of it. Uh, so I just want. Do you know uh, about the chaos community? Do, do you have some um, series or other uh, so papers or other things to help us to do these things? It does. And so um, would these be like academics across the world globally? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so definitely, I think, and maybe this can be like part of yeah. the discussion, like how do we build that group of people? I mean, maybe it's here on this call. I don't know. Um, so yes, that does make sense. Elizabeth, what do you, do you have thoughts on how we can move this forward? I know you said some thoughts, but other thoughts <laughs> too. As far as um, creating some academic resource? No, or just like in terms of like, like we have this this call right here, and then we have a, a Slack channel. Is are, do you think these are sufficient to think through how we manage, like the translation between, you know, what's occurring in China and what is occurring in like Western countries? I just don't want to lose that. Um, should we be thinking about this in the chaos board? Like where? How do we? Yeah, that's a really interesting, uh, an interesting idea to take it to the board. Um, I, I kind of, so I think the one of the problems that we have is, um, in my opinion, just time zones, right? Aside from the translation itself is time zones. So, you know, it'd be great if we had more of the chaos community attending these meetings to hear what's happening and we can share ideas here. Um, and it would also be great if we had more Chinese community members attending the weekly community calls that we have um, on Tuesdays. But because of the time, I think it's it's hard to bring people together. So it might make sense to have a smaller group that kind of represents both communities that come together and just do a quick like touch base or sharing of, hey, here's what, what we've been talking about in this community. Um, you know, maybe this call is a place for that. I don't know. Um, I just feel like maybe, it, it, you know, because this call also we want to, you know, sometimes we want to talk about developing metrics and and things that, you know, the, you know, actual work <laughs> that, the, that the chaos community is doing, not necessarily like, let's catch up on what the discussions have been thus far. So I, I don't know. I don't know if there's another venue or like a biweekly touch base, you know, with just a few people to say, hey, this is what's on our mind right now this is what's going on or yeah i think we can uh hold a bi-weekly meeting uh to discussion about the these models and i think um because we, we usually try to uh try to find some uh others uh to explain the motivation in the open source community like the economic models and uh, some others to to uh compare to the uh, the models we, we, we now discussed so I, I think it's 
uh, I'm very welcome to uh, to you to <laughs> to discuss about the uh, models uh, every two weeks uh, in, in some other meetings. I mean, should we should these meetings? I'm just thinking, should these be in Chinese? <laughs> I mean, as as there's a like if if there's if if a group of people is say developing metrics or you know has an idea for a metric say around management or development or governance um like would it be more efficient if if folks who are working on this in china had those meetings in chinese and there were like myself or elizabeth like on the call i wouldn't understand anything but i would be i would be prepared to like have somebody ask a question like about um, like metrics design, you know, or like how we go about kind of developing a new metric, you know, like kind of what is the process within chaos, how we go about um, releasing the metric for, for the community, you know what I mean? Like kind of the process components that, that might be helpful for us to provide insight on. I almost see this as its own new working group in a way, you know, how the working groups kind of go off and they do their work and then they come and bring back updates to the larger community. This is what this feels like to me, but I could be completely off base, yeah. <laughs> but it kind of feels like that. Yes, I think we can build a work group for it. I think uh, from from China, uh, we can collect we can collect uh, the ideas or output from Chinese people, uh, no matter yeah. the community maintainers or or, or, or students like Xiaoya or some other guys who have interest on the community metrics and the model and the metrics model. We can summarize the, their uh, their ideas and bring it up into the some working group. Like, uh, like you just uh, suggested, and we can discuss it together. Because not everyone in China, they do well, they do speak English very well. Uh, I have to say my English is not very good, but uh, <laughs> not all the other people like me to speak out in English uh, with you guys. Yeah, I think it is the biggest barrier about how to contribute to the chaos. Yeah, it's about language. That's why also Xiaoya mentioned we can use some WeChat group in China to collect some ideas. And also we can utilize some uh, Chinese like channel uh, to, to, to introduce those people to, come, to input their idea into some other uh, channels. But uh, we do want to summarize those ideas together. And uh, no matter a new, new ideas about metrics or new ideas about a metrics model, and we can we can discuss them together uh, in some group, no matter in this Asia or some other new group. Um, we are pretty well fine with it. You could also hold those at a little more uh, time friendly timing than these calls, because I know these aren't super friendly <laughs> for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actually, we are start hosting a local, like chaos local community meetings. We don't use Zoom meetings. We use Tencent meeting. I'm not sure if you, you've heard about that. And uh, we, we, we just started that. Uh, so, and it's, uh, we are not at the stage of like create, uh, creating new metrics, but just still discussing and uh, trying to uh, just um, having some discussions about chaos metrics, uh, like the issues I mentioned, uh, the lots of issues I created um, under the repository. And, and uh, yeah, um, me and uh, King and uh, Ye Hui, we can um, exist as, uh, we can update our source to, the, to, this, to this meeting. Yeah, that would be amazing, I think. Instead of, you know, trying to force the Chinese community into using the tools that are familiar to us, 
which is silly. Um, I think we absolutely should empower and enable you all to use what's familiar and available and what works for you. And then, yeah, that's a yes, to bring it back to this group then. And then we can also, you know, Matt and, and Don and Daniel and I, or, who, or you even, Troy, or whoever ends up attending the other community meetings can also then bring, bring it back. We can be the bridge, all of us. Yeah, together. yeah, the bridge, that's great. I, I think we can utilize, I mean, this Asia meeting, as, as, as you mentioned, as a bridge to, to set up the connection between the China communities with the other uh, working groups uh, from the chaos communities. And uh, we can exchange our, our ideas uh, on the metrics and uh, on the metrics model, whatever. And uh, maybe we can pop up more, more thinkings and ideas in the, in the future. So Daniel had put, oh, okay, yeah, Shoya, the meeting information in Slack, because we can put it on the participate page. Or I can submit PR and that'd be great. or Kevin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great to include it there. Um, and then can you, is it possible to record those meetings too that we could put okay. on? on YouTube. Okay. I don't know the process to get those, but if we could share those as well, that'd be great. Okay. Awesome. All right, so we have five minutes. This is super productive. And I'm learning a lot. So thank you, everybody. Um, and it, just kind of put it out there again, it, as you need help, even beyond the videos for the meetup, don't hesitate to, to reach out in Slack or whatever. And we're happy to help in any way that we can. Okay, so how, how do you... Uh send your videos to me or to, to us? <laughs> That's the last question of this meeting. <laughs> oh yeah, how did we do it in the past? Did we just post them to YouTube? Uh-huh, okay. Um, I think last time uh, the, the video was sharing by Dropbox or any other open available platform and uh, then the link. Um, okay. to, Does Dropbox yeah. is still working for us? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I can't assess Dropbox. I, I'm not sure. If okay, if anyone... you can, you 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 can you can access to it. Then then that would be fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we need to do these sooner rather than later because if your meetup is June, July eighth, it's three weeks away. So. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we kind of um, still hope the video can be translated and add yeah. the subtitles to it. Okay, so maybe a week and a half. <laughs> That's no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Um, so I guess maybe just in the last few minutes here, I just, I had alluded to this earlier with respect to the translations. So that is correct. I mean, the hope is with the next release, we are releasing the translated metrics as well. Um, we're trying to, we've asked Ritik and Yash, and maybe I can, gosh, what time is it in India right now? I have no idea, late. Um, I've asked them as, as part of the Google Summer of Code to think about the translation process so for example, as a new metric, say if a new metric is released from common, like how, how do we do the first translation? And it would be released in English. So what is the process, the most efficient process by which the common working group can signal that there's a new metric that needs to be translated, that the translation needs to be done, and that signal can be sent to Kevin that as part of the release, there's a you know, a translation in the release. So we want to do this as efficiently as possible. And obviously with translations, um, there is a, a technical part that can be done. So we could maybe rely on some machine translations to start. 
but then there's also a, a human component <laughs> that needs to be done as well to ensure that the machine translations actually make sense. And so it's a bit more complicated than just an automated release of the metrics. Yeah. And about the translation automate, automation process, I submitted the idea I submitted to summer 21st. Uh, we have uh, a, a student uh, applied for that idea, but I'm not sure he, 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 he is accustomed to join this meeting and speaking with English. So I will keep you updated with okay. his progress. Okay. Um, and so we'll we'll bring um, that sounds good because then we can bring any recommendations that Ritik and Yash have for the process forward. You know, I don't think we'll get this fully implemented during their Google Summer of Code phase, uh, but they can at least offer a process that we can speak to that may or may not make sense for the for the entire community. So it'll serve as a good starting point for all of us. Sure. Uh, all right. Well, we're actually at the end of time. I was, as the, in this Asia Pacific call, I was going to bring things forward that were occurring in the chaos community software wise and metrics wise, but, um, we can do that in two weeks. So this was really great. Um, so I, honestly, thank you everybody for all of, all of the work that, that you're doing. I, this is just really, truly amazing. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm learning a, a lot about, um, how to how to work globally. So this is very interesting. So I I I think I've grown so much in chaos community too. Awesome. So yeah, I want to thank you all too. That is fantastic. All right. Well, everybody, um, looks like we should start the Slack channel. Um, the Chinese Slack channel. I don't know if that's been started yet, but we can do that. And. Uh, my dogs are saying okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.